is Back to Love Fish, and today I'm going to be showing you how I built my four gallon aquarium that I have my saltwater fish in right now. So first off, I got four panels of glass from an old door. They're all the same size. And then I did not have good luck cutting a glass piece for the bottom, so what I did is I took a wood piece, covered it completely with silicone. This did not work the first time that it I did it, as you'll see later in the video. So I had to take it off and redo it, but it did end up working in the end. So I covered it completely with silicone. These wood pieces here are going to be used to brace the glass. So they're going to go around the edges of this wood piece that is in the bottom. So they're going to hold the glass inward so it does not fall out. And for all of this, I'm using GE Silicone 1 which is fish safe I made sure you to use plenty of silicone throughout the whole process because you can always wipe stuff off but you can never add more once it's cured because silicone does not stick to itself I also use painters tape to hold in the corners and hold it all together and everything When I was putting on the sides, I did not have to silicone the bottom because I already put a bead of silicone right inside the wood. As you can see, it creates a lip so it will hold the panels in place. And for this design, I have the side panels go on the outside of the front and back panels. And so this is almost a completely square tank and it's about two times as high as it is wide. Finally I had to make sure that everything was square and then I went ahead and put a final bead of silicone around all of the edges just to finish off the seal and make it look nice and just to make it look nice you just run your finger through the silicone and that's how you get that little curved shape in the corners Here I am putting together the top of the aquarium. It's basically the exact same as the bottom, just there's a hole cut in so that I can have the wires going in and out of the tank, and also as feeding. Alright, so finally after 48 hours of the silicone curing, I took off the tape and went ahead and cleaned off any excess silicone with a razor blade. And if you have a new razor blade, it's really easy just to peel off the silicone and it takes off everything. Just make sure not to take off your seal. Like you can see this strand was just kind of out there and it's actually easier to take off the silicone after it's cured rather than trying to wipe it off when it's still wet because it'll just smudge and create a bigger mess. Alright, so finally I got everything off of it and that's how it looks. Finally I did a water test and so I just put it in a sink, I put the paper towel under it so that I could see if any water leaked. And you'll see in a second that it did the first time and so I had to remove the inside seal of the silicone 
and basically just the last bead that I put on and then also everything in the bottom. And I just redid it, waited 48 hours, and then refilled it up. And here's the second water test, and it looks good. I wasn't sure if the bottom, me doing the silicone stuff would work or not, but it ended up working. So finally I spray painted the tank and made sure to cover the glass so I would not get the paint on the glass. I did end up putting design on both the top and the bottom. You'll be able to see it closer in just a second, but I only did that with hot glue. I just put it down and after you paint it, it looks really nice. So there's a little trick if you just want to make something really fancy with just hot glue and paint. So here's how it ended up looking. The top, I did have to cut a bigger hole to fill the filter, but now it works just fine. And so here's the tank set up with my salt water. And it has two mollies in there, as well as four hermit crabs. And everybody's doing great. So I hope this video was interesting for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you're looking to build a tank, I can help you out with what I know. Alright, so thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and let me know what videos you like to see. Bye.